So I need some, some help understanding all this. So I understand the historical records, but when Ms. Sewell starts talking about books, some of those books are currently under copyright. And if you digitize them and you don't have a license, what's, what's the legal, underlying legal authority for that? We are not digitizing books under copyright. We're digitizing our records. Just your records. records. So yes. if, you're, if you're doing submissions or if you're putting your, your work in, that's not going to be digitized? We don't take material that's not digitized and digitize it. So you're not making copies digitally of material that could be copyrighted or is copyrighted? People can submit digital copies of their works yes. as deposits, but we don't take the uh, analog copies and digitize them. Okay, and that's not a part of your plan that's coming out? No. Okay. All right. Um, and that's good to know. What, what documents do you have that you're going to be digitizing for the historical records? Uh, we have, they're called historical record books, which are records of copyright registrations and recordations uh, over the years. So the historical public record books go back to the 19th century up until 1978 when the current Copyright Act went into force. So we have those. We also have card catalogs. Uh, we have a number of different forms of historical records. We have some microfilm records that we're also in All the right. process so of digitizing. I, and, and I apologize that I'm confused, but if I submit a book, and I haven't written any yet, uh, but if I submit a book to you for registration under the Copyright Act, and you're digitizing those, let's say I give you an analog copy, I want it, I want it copyrighted. You're saying you're not digitizing those, but then you're saying anything that's been filed for registration. Tell me, explain it to me. We're digitizing our records, which are like applications for registration or lists. Wouldn't that of include documents. a copy of the of the underlying book, or no, that's, it does that's not? The deposit copy, and that we're not digitizing. All right, I'm just trying to make sure I get it straight. It can it, be confusing. It can be confusing, yes, ma'am, and I I, uh, I appreciate that. So. Uh, the purpose is just so that, that the historical records can be easy, more, reason, more easily accessed, and I'm fine with the historical records. Yeah, really for two purposes. One is for people who want to use copyrighted work so they can find out what's there and who owns it and get in touch with them. Uh, and the other is uh, for, for researchers. All right. I appreciate that. What else is exciting going on over there that you haven't had a chance to tell us about yet? Oh, wow. There is so much going on. It's been quite something. I, one thing that we're very proud of, uh, we set up a new copyright small claims court two years ago, pursuant to the CASE Act uh, that yeah. Congress uh, I think you mentioned that earlier, yes. And it's functioning incredibly well on getting close to 1,000 claims having been filed. Uh, so it's operating very smoothly and very effectively. But again, just so that I'm, I'm clear, you're not taking any documents that are filed as a part of the registration process and digitizing the document, the, the book, or the uh, work for copyright purposes, just the registration forms? Just the, just the forms, the information that people have given us in connection with registration, but not the works themselves. All right. I yield back.